How wonderful is that? I'm not sure how he achieved that without crashing the drone into a tree or something. It's not exactly the clearest area in the world. But there is the eastern horizon, blazing gold and orange. A bit of, uh, what other colours can we see there? Honey, perhaps? Mm. But it is largely just straight, concentrated gold. That's beautiful. He is actually still moving there. What a wonderful shot. I wonder how he's achieved it. I can't wait to ask him. I always think that it must be wonderful to be able to move at this sort of height and higher, of course, because the silence must be so much more profound than it is anywhere else. So you can imagine how much thinking time and quiet time a vulture or an eagle has as the thermals start to warm and they start to soar up into the sky. Now, of course, that sun is not going to be creating any thermals just yet. It will probably take another, oh, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour or so, and then the vultures and the eagles will start to take themselves up into the air. I'm just trying to look there on the far eastern horizon. I mean, it, just, it does look like rolling, undulating terrain, doesn't it? And that's what it is, of course, out here. Very little in the way of mountainous landscape in the actual Kruger Park, apart from the odd granite outcrop caused by sort of extrusions many millions of years ago. But because this landscape is so ancient, those rolling hills are very gently undulating, going down towards um, sort of shallow drainage lines like the Umbromati, some slightly bigger rivers like the Savi River and the Sand River, but really they are not huge. And because this landscape is so very ancient with so little volcanic activity in the last oh, countless millions of years, it's not nutrient rich. It is a nutrient poor environment. There is one of those granite outcrops I was talking about. And that one, if I'm not mistaken, is twice copy on Mala Mala. And as we swing across to the right, we may well see the little ones, the little knolls on which Ulusaba is posted. There they are, just going past us there. And that's in the far sort of south east western corners of the Sabi sand. There's a settlement. That is amazing. That's Newington, probably. That may be actually one of the lodges. That might be Arethusa. That is amazing. I didn't realize we could see that far from the drone. And the mountains there are still bathed in a little bit of smog. Uh, not smog, in fact, it's just fog and mist from the night. How wonderful. So an ancient landscape, and what I was saying there was that the soil is not fertile. It has had so little volcanic activity in the recent past that it's actually one of the most nutrient-poor soil types, certainly, that we get in South Africa and possibly in all the world. So if, it, if I'm not mistaken, it might be the oldest soil that we have out here in the world, and that means, of course, that it is very difficult.